Hi guys, so welcome back. Uh, one more video uh, for today. So what I want to show now is uh, one of the features um, uh, of one particular camera that uh, I'm going to show through archive. But first, the, the camera itself. Um, very uh, special looking uh, camera. Uh, this is a, a multi-lens camera. It does, there's four different lenses on here. Um, it's got, um, it, it automatically puts an image uh, directly uh, four images and it's the sticky line or the stick line between the images is uh, basically almost transparent. Um, I'm going to show you, I'm going to double click on this and put this full screen on the monitor here. So this is the camera that you're seeing live um, on the image outside through the archive software. Um, and you're seeing that it's, it's really indeed four different images and the splicing line, I'm seeing a bit of a shadow here. This should be one of the lines here, a second one here, and then there should be a third appro approximately here. Not easy to see. Um, right now the scene is, is not bright. When it's a brighter scene, uh, it's very, very difficult to see any of the lines between the lenses. So it stitches, that's the word I was looking for earlier, it stitches the image very quite easily and very uh, uh, nicely as well. So. Camera's not a, a, a small camera, it's, it's quite heavy, uh, but it's made to go outside. It's made to be, you know, put on a building and, and then pointed, uh, it may be a little bit too, too high on our installation here on the building, uh, but you get a full 180 degree uh, image. Uh, maybe there's a bit too much sky, and that's why I was saying that uh, it might be a little bit too high as far as the installation is concerned. Uh, but you get that, you know, you can view a parking lot uh, very easily just with one camera, one IP address, one archive license in the software. It acts as one camera. Uh, and of course, with, with the, this one camera and uh, combined with archive, I can do everything that I've already discussed earlier. So neural tracker, object tracker, line crossing, do the forensics. Uh, uh, in this case. So, so right now we're looking at my screen here. I'm going to go on the search uh, window here. Um, I'm just going to grow the results here and start searching as of uh, trying to go back, you know, this 4 a.m., 4 o'clock in the morning. <clears throat> the scene is, is quite uh, uh, dark. You're not seeing the actual uh, stitch right now, but as the lighting changes, you may see the stitch because as we all know, sunrise is on one end of the, of the scene um, and then it, it does, the, the image doesn't follow quite 100%. Um, so I'm gonna go on to, uh, back to the live here and go on to the search. I was there already. Uh, I'm gonna search from 6, 6.29 a.m. Uh, I'm gonna create, a go, I'm gonna use motion in, in, in area in this case. Um, what I haven't shown so far is that the search area is very, very flexible. You can, you know, really, really pinpoint exactly what you want to, you know, look for in here. So I, I'll eliminate the street since uh, there's quite a few cars that pass here on that sh on this street. So I'm just going to grab uh, the actual parking lot, uh, our parking lot here, and maybe the driveway here on the side, and our neighbor's parking lot right here. Um, and then just go search and see what kind of results I'm going to get right now. Um, quite a few results. So a lot of action since uh, 6.30 this morning. I'm going to go down that list. So I've got 168 different um, um, clips or results, little JPEGs that I can, uh, or we should call them thumbnails. Um, and, you know, I'll, I'll pick one here and see what's going on. So basically it's this vehicle coming out of this uh, driveway. I'm gonna back it up a little. This is where the alarm, the little yellow spot is where the alarm got caused. Um, <clears throat> and you're getting a, a quick result. Same thing here besides a person walking by. Okay, so you, 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 you get the, the feel of a 180 degree camera, very, very wide view, uh, and still getting the result that you're, that you're in, intending to get, and the search is very, very quick. Um, just as an exercise here, I'll, 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 I'll add in uh, motion and area, and also 
Um, let's add some color, see what happens here. There's a little more options here than a line crossing. So in motion and area, you're, you're capable of using, yes, okay, the maximum and minimum size color object type, human or vehicle, um, uh, entry and exit of that area that I've, I've put on the screen, uh, in which direction is coming in. It's, so either direction coming into that square that I've created or leaving that square. And of course, maximum and minimum speed. So I'm just gonna try uh, object type. So I'm gonna grab uh, human in this case to eliminate, I guess, some of the cars that are coming in and out of that driveway and see what kind of results we get. Still quite a few. Okay, let, let's, let's have a look here. There's, a, I think, a person walking here at 5.49 a.m. And that's correct. There, there's that person that hit that square. I guess he's going to work, okay? So very simple, very easy. You're seeing a bunch of guys here coming in and out into their vehicles. Um, and this is quite early in the morning, so 6.05 a.m. So very nice uh, uh, camera. Combined with archive, great tools, you're getting a big, big view and you're getting the results that, that it's intending. Very easy to search. Uh, archive is a great, great product. If you guys want to learn some more, uh, you can go onto our website, uh, www.inaccess.com. Um, have a look. You have all our salespeople that can give you a demo. Uh, reach out to us, emails, uh, by phone. Subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Um, and I hope, I hope that this is helpful and gives you some ideas and some great ideas for uh, our products as well.